the Pope was trapped in an elevator, and the firefighters had to come and rescue him. And it's a good thing I wasn't one of those firefighters, because I would have been childish. I would have opened the doors like, where's your God now? <laughs> it's actually weird, because, like, you don't actually think about the Pope using elevators, you know? <laughs> It's like a normal thing to do. I, I almost imagine if, like, does he have elevator jokes? He would have fun ones, right? Like, he just gets in, he's like, can you hit heaven, please? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, eight. I'm going to eight. <laughs> Pope Francis, leader of the worldwide Catholic Church and president of the Tall Hat Club. Francis <laughs> has shaken up the church for years now. He said he doesn't judge gay people. He said your pets will go to heaven. And now he's considering maybe the biggest change yet. Pope Francis signaling a possible departure from a centuries-old tradition in the Catholic Church. The requirement of celibacy for priests is open for debate. During Mass yesterday, the Pope didn't refer to the celibacy issue, but warned if we spend our days content that this is the way things have always been done, then the gift vanishes, smothered by the ashes of fear and concern for defending the status quo. Oh, the Pope is considering getting rid of the celibacy rule for Catholic priests. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm happy about this, but it is gonna be a little bit weird when you start seeing your priest on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be there like, name of the father, the son, <laughs> swipe left, swipe right. <laughs> also, you know that priests having social lives is gonna affect their sermons, right? They're gonna be preaching up there like, we know from Genesis that it was just Adam and Eve. But if there was, say, a Zoe in the mix, Eve would understand. I mean, <laughs> she's talking to serpents and stuff. Oh, I see what's happening here. <laughs> the new pope wants to change the rules so priests can have sex, but the old pope wants the rules to stay the same, and I get that. I mean, if I had been forced to be a virgin for 92 years, <laughs> I would also be out there like, guys, come on, those are the rules! <laughs> we agreed! <laughs> but I'm sorry, old pope. You don't make the rules anymore because you quit. Yeah, you can't just come back and try and change things up. It would be like coming back to visit a house that you sold, like, oh, interesting curtain choice. Uh, <laughs> you sure you want to put the couch there? And it'd be like, how did you get in here? I took a spare key. <laughs> I will say what's really strange about this is that both of these men supposedly talk directly to God, right? That's the whole thing of the Pope. But they're getting different messages. <laughs> it's almost like God is playing a prank on one of them, <laughs> yeah? You know, like one priest is going up to God like, wait, are we not supposed to have sex? And God's like, no, no, I'm just messing with other dudes. I'm just like, <laughs> look how horny he's getting. <laughs> Moving on, the Catholic Church is celebrating Pride Month in the most Catholic Church way possible. USA Today says the Vatican issued an official document rejecting transgender identity. It also called gender change a trend. The document called male and female, he created them, is the Catholic Church's first statement on gender identity. Pope Francis has repeatedly argued that people cannot choose their genders. The Vatican also said that changing norms in gender identity contributes to the destabilization of the family. Yes, that's right. The Catholic Church has released a statement condemning transgender people, saying that it's unnatural, which is disappointing, but it's not surprising. I mean, we all know the church thinks if you're born a girl, you're a girl forever. And if you're born a boy, they're gonna try and f you. And let's be clear. <laughs> let's be clear on this. Gender change is not a trend, all right? It's been around for thousands of years. But if it was, why does the church care about it so much? How come the church isn't warning us about other trends? You never hear the Pope saying, it is against God's will to wear supreme. There's only one hype beast, and his name is Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, and get this, get, get this. Part of the Vatican's rationale is that transgender people go against its belief that God made men and women to reproduce. Which, first of all, transgender people can reproduce. And secondly, again, why do you care, right? You don't even let your people reproduce, right? Nuns aren't allowed to have sex, right? <laughs> Priests can't get little boys pregnant, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, two pedophilia jokes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got away with it the first time. Of course I was gonna go back for more, which is the same thing the priest said about touching little boys. Oh, three pedophilia jokes, oh! Oh, you don't like it? Well, you should transfer me to a different parish where I'm probably gonna do the same thing. Four! Oh! 